Hey kids, this is Sko again with another Minecraft Bingo by Dr. Brian Lorgan 111. Here we go, it's seed 9992. This is a practice seed. We're going for that top row. They, I'll put it up again in a sec. Just, there we go. Uh, the name tag, rails, uh, gunpowder, apple, and a dropper. Uh, this is a practice seed. I've run this a number of times. This is a pretty good, uh, pretty good run that I put together. We're going for those trees over there. You see I'm pointing them out. That's where we're going to get our apple from. And the rest will be underground. So we'll let this uh, kick off. In a second. Here we go. Here we go. Start go. Alright, so you kind of floundering around in the water for a little bit. And we're going to run up towards uh, towards those trees. Uh, I am pretty much incapable of climbing a uh, climbing a mountain uh, in any way, so you'll see me flounder a little bit here and there. Um, but eventually, I make it to the tree, which is my goal. I'm gonna get a couple of these logs. Uh, the main goal. I mean, we need wood, obviously, to get our um, get our tools uh, that we need. Uh, but really the main goal right now is to get as many of these uh, and make sure that the uh, the leaves despawn. Uh, the most important thing is to have those leaves despawn. Um, I'm getting a little bit of uh, extra dirt here. The dirt will come in handy if I need to come back up to the surface. This particular run, I don't, I won't need to do that. But uh, it's always good to have extra blocks. Um, in case I need to come back up to see if the uh, the apples dropped uh, while I'm underground. So we're going to put together our real pick. There we go. Only going to get the bare minimum of, of tools. Going to get a shovel. Going to get an axe. Nothing else right now. Uh, tried it with a sword. Uh, it works pretty well with a sword, but you're you know, wasting a little bit of time. Um, so, got nothing there. We're going to cut down this tree from the top. Looking for apples. Don't see any yet. Uh, but we're going to cut down this tree. Uh, take a quick look. The other one. And there's an apple. Perfect. That's what we want. We want the apple ideally before we go underground. So, we got it before we go underground. Which is great. And now we're going to dig straight down. There's a little bit of coal here, which we are going to use uh, to make the torches. Uh, so we can see underground. Uh, not necessary, uh, but we are going to uh, want to be able to see. You can hear the skeletons already. The skeletons uh, are from a spawner, which we are going to attack. So down we go. And torches getting shot, getting shot, running away, running away a little bit. Okay. Wasn't expecting a skeleton in here. And now we just axe them. Axe as many of them as we can, as quickly as we can. There, you know, you could probably do this a little bit faster uh, if you didn't. Oh, this, wow, I didn't realize that uh, that bat saved me so many times. Uh, all right, that uh, that chest had a name tag in it, which we needed, and it also had. Um, a bunch of gunpowder in it, which we also need. Uh, now we're putting together the furnaces with the stone that we got uh, when we dug straight down to get here. And we're going to get a little bit of iron, and we're going to dump that in the furnace right away. If we can find it in our inventory, and build another furnace so that we have, uh, have both of them going. We've already got our wood in the furnace. So we're going to get just the last little bits of iron that we need. I may have actually gotten one too many here. I can't, act, I don't remember if I had, I think I got the exact amount. So we're going to just reorganize the furnaces a little bit to make it as efficient as possible while the zombies are attacking us. Uh, and now we've got enough iron to put together the hopper. We got that chest from the dungeon, so we don't need to actually build a chest, and we're just waiting on the last two iron right now. Just waiting slowly, slowly. Uh, there's no other really fast... There we go. Here's the iron. 
there's another really fast dungeon, and we're going to make the rails uh, to get free iron. So, there we go. Five, uh, four minutes and 13 seconds. Uh, that's... You can probably shave, you know, a couple seconds here or there off of the time if you don't uh, don't bother uh, killing all those skeletons. But there you see we got that, that entire first row. Uh, so thank you to Dr. Brian. I'm going to give him a uh, usual uh, sacrifice. I don't have anything good now, so I'm just going to throw some horse armor at him. There we go. Iron horse armor and gold horse armor. There you go, Brian. Thank you. So thank you all for watching. Four minutes and 13 seconds. It can probably be done faster in the same thing. Take care.